Alright guys, I'm doing a quick video on request, um, how to make an obby. So when you open Roblox Studio and under new, you're going to see obby here. It's going to be your best choice to give you a few blocks to start with, rather than starting from scratch with the base plate, deleting it, and having nothing to work with. Let's click on that and bring it up. Make sure you have Explorer, Properties, toolbox open if they're not open go up to the top to view explore properties and toolbox all right we don't need terrain editor right now we could close that let's go back to home okay so you see it gave us a start position jump blocks it gave us what they call stages but if you notice right now with this the way it works it's not going to work let me show you now, normally when they add stages in an obby, when you jump and you make it to the next stage up here in your leaderboard, it counts stages. And it's doing no counting for us. Okay, so let me show you how first step. Remember, and this is going to be super easy. All ages can do this. No scripting needed. So we're going to go over here to the toolbox. Make sure it's under models. And we're going to type tech point. And what you're going to do is you're going to look down for this one right here. This guy made a good setup. It's going to be called Obby Checkpoint System. You can either click on it, drag it in. I recommend click it. It does have one script. It's safe. Go ahead. I've already checked it out. Now you're just going to leave it right here. Obby Checkpoint System. Don't change the name of it. Don't edit anything in lot inside of it unless you know what you're doing. Now let me show you what you do have to do. So you have to go here to your checkpoints, and we're going to have to locate each one. This is that checkpoint. So you see how it says checkpoint? We need to change that actually to one. And then we need to go to this checkpoint. We need to change this checkpoint to two. We go to this check. Actually, you know what? You already start on one, I believe. So let's go to this checkpoint and let's actually name this one two. Let's name this one three. This one will be four. Now we're not going to want to leave the obby this way because I bet you there's going to be a million not popular obby games that look exactly like this little starter obby. So here we go. We're going with five. Next checkpoint, six. Go. And final checkpoint above the trampoline over there, we got seven. All right, so we hit play. Let's go test this out. So we added in that obby script from the toolbox, and we renamed everything to the pretty much the stage numbers in order. There we go. We now have... It shows our name, people, stage, and it shows the stage. Oh, look we'll at that jump. Let's make sure it works across the board. And there we go, stage three. All right, so there's your first hurdle you already fixed. All right, so now we can't have the game looking like everybody else's game. So let's do this. Let's take this guy. If you highlight it all by left-clicking your mouse, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Move, and we're going to bring this guy up. See how we are in, in comparison to that one there? Let's bring it up. Now, these guys are in a straight line. We can make it more fun. And we got to reach up to that now. So we want our first one to be at that height or a little above. So let's drag it up. Let's bring this one a little above that. Let's bring this one a little above that. Let's bring this one a little above that. 
And this one a little above, oh, I couldn't go up high enough. No, I don't want to set it. All right. And this one up a little above that. It might be a little higher than that. Now we're bringing, oh, bring this guy back down a little bit. We've got to make sure that we're only highlighting this and not other items, or we'll move those as well. All right. So I say that's pretty good for a start. And we can make this a little more fun by moving these guys off to the sides, which will make a little bit harder jumps. The side. Now we want to make sure this is playable. So let's jump in there. Is this all doable? Now, if you can do it, other people can do it. There we go, stage two. All right. So let me show you a little mechanic in here that's going to make it a little more fun for your building. Now, Gray's boring. Click on this guy here. You'll see color over here. Pick the color you want. Let's go with the blue for that one. Let's click this guy. Let's pick a different color. Let's go with the yellow. Let's go over to this one here. Let's click and throw a red in there. And let's go click on this one. We could use a green, right? Oh, that's a cool green. Let's go with that guy. And finally, this one here. We could throw, what have we not done? We could do a purple. Okay. All right, so now you know how to add colors to them. And we've got to make a way down. All right, so let me show you a way to move numerous items together at once. So let's take the mouse, left click, these guys, click on move. We're going to bring them up about halfway, which is going to give me the ability to grab these ones and drag these ones down. And then the ability to grab these ones and drag them up. This is a good site. This is good so you can kind of see where everything is in comparison to the other items. Now again, we'd want to make sure that's playable, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's playable. This guy could go a little... Playable, let's give it some color. All right, let's go with um, orange. And let's go with, do, 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 do. let's go with kind of a violet color. I think that's what that was, maybe I'm colorblind. All right, let's go over to this one. We're gonna go, do, do, do. let's go that color. And this one over here, let's give it a pink. And this one here, let's give it, do, do, do. almost neon green, there we go. All right, so we modified that in a way where they look different. We change elevations. You're going up and down. We move these from a straight line to left and right. And we're on down to these items. Now, I say we take a large chunk of this and just move it out of the way. So let's just take, highlight it all. These guys here. Let's move it down. I'll we'll take this one here and also move it down. We're going to give ourselves some room to add in our own stuff. Okay. All right. There we go. Now we can keep the conveyor blocks here. I do suggest trying this out though. See how we got four blocks in one unit here? Straighten yourself out first. Grab the four blocks. And what we're going to do is scale. Let's make it a little bigger. There we go. This one here. But you know what? Never mind. Okay, so here's another lesson for you, too. Hit back. It'll undo what you just did. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it all. Let's scale the whole thing. Highlight it all, we got scale. 
grab one of these guys and make it a little bigger. It makes it more fun when you got more conveyor to work with. Now you see right now we got collision issues going on with that. We're going to click on move, bring it forward, bring it towards us. Look back at it again, see how it is. It's kind of close. There's not much difficulty in that jump, so let's spread out. There we go. All right. This gray box kind of boring. Let's confuse them. Let's click on color, and then we can do pick screen color. Oh, it's odd that it's doing black, but let's grab that and close enough. Not perfect. Haha, <laughs> that's not even close. Ah, but it works. Okay. All right, so let me show you a little trick. Let's add in some fun stuff now to your hub. So go over here to Models, clear that checkpoints, and what we're going to do is type in Hobby. Let's type in Hobby. Um, what did it do? <laughs> hobby. There we go. Okay. So we're going to get some fun options for stuff to add in, things you've seen in all the hobbies you've played. Um, hanging stuff, climbing, tunnels, um, doors, mazes, invisible blocks, um, ball jumps. Let's add the ball jump. So you're going to find the item you want, left click on it, and drag it into your game. So right here we have some ball jumps going on. Now we set it there, but we gotta go check out our height. So we're gonna grab the green and bring it down. We're gonna check out its location to the other one. Is that jump? Yeah, that's jumpable, but we could probably bring it down a tad bit more. There we go. So you got our ball jump in there. Awesome. Definitely doable. Now you see they also had doors in here. They've got hmm, lots of different things. Uh, lava things to jump over money <laughs> all right walls to jump around okay lots of options you see you can make so many cool things here's a cool one for you so let me show you if we were to okay so see this one right here we're going to take this one and we're going to copy it we're going to right click after we highlight it all we're going to hit copy and we're going to bring it over here and we're going to paste it click on something then right click then hit paste it'll place it above that then you can move it to where you want and look at the side and lower it down look at the top make sure it's centered everything's looking fairly good that's a close enough jump they could definitely take that all right so that's fine right there now there's the issue that we got to check is this one's labeled differently. So we have different checkpoints, remember? So we highlight this one, it copied six, but it placed it down over here. So up here, when we look at checkpoints, it leaves that there, but it leaves the blocks down there. Somewhere else. Right here, maybe. <laughs> All right, so let's close these. So we close trampoline. We're going to close obby structure. We're going to close kill bricks. We're going to close conveyors. And we have these parts here. So now if we click, let's say, three, we want to go look and find out where those blocks were put. They're not kill bricks, are they the structure? They didn't put them in there. Let's see. Where did they put it? Must be. We want to rename this. So see right here, we want to name it ball jump. Let's do that. B. Let's click somewhere. We got a name for it at least. We know what's going on. Okay, so we look back at this. We have all these loose parts here. Um, let's place all these in obby structure. I feel good about that. 
All right, so now they're organized in a way and out of our way. Now we look at this and we know this is gonna be checkpoint number where we start on one and then we go two, three, we're gonna be number four right here, which means we need to get rid of that number four over there because it's not actually gonna be four. All right, so we put four. And now we look at these ones. These ones are all out of number now. So let's just change these as putting them as, okay, so that one's correct. So seven, we're just gonna put a CP for a checkpoint. Two's correct, four is not. So we're gonna set that as CP for a checkpoint. And the reason we do this, so we, as we add them in, we don't get confused, which is actually the real checkpoint. So we haven't added this one. So let's do CP. This one as well, let's do CP. And we can rename those later. It was as an example earlier when I showed you that. All right, so we do definitely have the starting one. We have two, three, and let's drag four in there. All right, so now it's organized in the folder with checkpoints. Okay, all right, so let me show you something cool. I know you've seen these probably if you've played obbies. We got the rainbow stairs here. All right. So we bring it in and it says, oh, virus, what? We're not using those, we're hitting cancel. There's a better version somewhere in here. I know if you go type the stairs in, you'll get it. For now, let's try this then. Let's go with the door. We'll place it here so it lands in the right spot. Level, bring it down a little bit. Now, do you notice? the pop-up about the scripts. It's important for you to pay attention to that and know what you're putting in your game because you could end up getting a virus inside your game. Not a virus in your computer, but it could mess up the game that you're trying to build. So something I recommend, going over to plugins here, and you'll find that here in the toolbox, you can choose plugins and you can search and you could type in the word virus and you'll come up with antivirus scanners. Now I have Row Defender. I have this Zeftech one. It allows you to turn it on, and while you're actually playing the game, you can scan within the game too. And then I have this one here. I've scanned with all three, which tells us that we're completely fine. There are no viruses currently in our game. Okay, so we go back over here to home. I run a couple of them just in case one virus program misses them. I have other ones as backups to run it again too. All right, so I'm sure you're sure positive with the uh, um, the doors you've seen them before, if you've played an obby. All right, so what happens is when you go through one, it might be the right door, but if you go through the wrong door, it'll kill you and you got to start back again. What you got to do is get the right sequence through all the doors, getting them correct to get to the other side. All right. Now I want to show you another part, which is adding your own block in. There's a few things you need to know. Let's say you wanted to add your own block. Let's click here so we know the block's going to land by this. So we're going to go over here to part, and we're going to place part into the workplace. All right, it gave us a little tiny block. We want to drag it over. Now we're going to go up to scale in the top, and we're going to drag it the width of the platform here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just pretty close. Let's widen it out, make it like a platform you can jump on. Let's check our level. It's a little high. We could bring it down. We're going to go up to move, click the green, drag it down a little bit. It's looking fairly good lined up. We can move it over just a tiny bit. There we go. What if we want a color? Let's click on this here and let's change our color. Let's make it, we'll do this blue here. All right. So now let me show you something. When you click on an item and you get properties, there's some important things, especially when you add a block in. Right now, if you were to jump on this, if it is set that way, you'll fall through. Also, this block may just fall out of the sky, and when you play your game, you go, where'd that block go that I put there? And it's because it doesn't have anchoring on. So here's anchored, it's not checked. So right now, look, if we went instead of play and we went to run, we could watch what happens in the game. Oof. There it went fell out of the sky. All right, let's hit stop. Okay, so now we go back to anchor. Now we hit run. Let's watch what happens. 
nothing happened. It didn't fall out of the sky. There you go. So anchoring will keep an item where you want in the game. And in a case of an obby where everything's floating in the air, you need to make sure everything is anchored or it's just going to fall out of the sky. All right. So the other point I mentioned, I thought you would fall through it, but it doesn't. It naturally turns collide on and touch on. Touch is important for, say, checkpoints because you need to touch that for to trigger and mark how far you've gone. And this guy right here, it doesn't have anything special about it, but it needs collide on. If not, if you were to jump, you would fall through it. And that little trick with that collide button is how people build certain obby things that trick you, where you got to choose which ones to jump on the different colored platforms or else you could fall through. They make an item to where you can see it, but it has no collision, so you actually fall right through it. Okay. So let's clear this, let's clear plugins, let's go back to models, let's type hobby again. There we go. Okay, so I want to show you. Okay, so wait, here's another one that's cool. So they have moving, so hobby moving. Let me type that. Moving platform. I'm pretty for sure these guys work perfect. Yep. Okay. I've used this one before. Okay. So you want to click on move. You want to bring it forward. It shows you point A and point B. It's calling it one and two of where it's going to move. So you know that it's going to get that close to it. So you can bring it out a little farther. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to do copy. And then we're going to right click and we're going to do paste. We're going to move that forward. If we know that one stops there, we want this one to stop a little way, but let's do something cool. Let's rotate it. And let's spin it like this. And then let's go back to move and let's bring it back. Now it's going to be a little higher because we set it on top of the other item. So now we know if this one stops there and this one moves left and right, we could definitely jump to this one from that one. If this one stops there, we could definitely jump from that. Let me show you another trick. So. If we put our person right here, we click on the arrow here, we can hit play here, and it'll spawn us in the position where you're at. All right. We jump on a moving block. Bring this forward, we jump on a moving block, and that's how you can work your way across. Come back. Whoa. And down. that's a curve. There we go. All right, and it should spawn us back on start if everything's working correctly. Yep. All right. We're hitting stop, and so we know that works. And again, the same way like these, you can click on this here. You can go and color it. Let's say we want it to be pink. Let's say we want this one here to be, I don't know. Let's choose a color. I will make it a purple color. There we go. So there you go moving blocks. All right, now, so there's something, you can build all this, you can keep copying and adding different uh, things in, but at, at one point, you want people to be able to finish your obby. And for that, we need to add an end in. So if you type up here, you type obby end, there's a handful of them that already work and they're ready to go. This one right here, for example. Most of these I've tested, it says there's a lot of scripts, and that's because there's lots of speed changers, lots of color changers, lots of outfit items, weapons, hats, armors, color changers, jumping dogs, trampolines, um, special abilities. I forget what all of those do. Are there block placers? Um, yeah, and you can add that in. And basically, let's see, so that's not in the right spot. So we're going to do move, move it over here. Like that, we're going to rotate it, boom, boom. And so we know if this one goes left and right like that, we just need to be able to jump to this. So let's click move, bring it forward, over there. Let's go look at it. Down, that's doable. So we want to take this off play here and put it on play. Let's just test, let's see how we do. All right. Okay, so let's get across these blocks. Jump, 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 jump. Go. Give 
another one. We got our conveyors here. It's pushing us. It's pushing us. Jump to the round. All jumps. We gotta make sure to get this checkpoint, and then here we go with the doors. Okay. Oh, right when I had to say that. Okay, so we know all that works. I don't want to try to play my way through that, but let's go over here and test on the other side. So, because I don't want to die in front of you guys over and over, you know, I'm bad at this. <laughs> so we're going to hit play here, right here. We're going to see how this part works out. And then your obby is going to be much bigger than this. So I'm just making it, you know, as an example, so we can get to an end and you can see it. All right, got a little spa. We got some jumping dogs over here. We got some speed modifiers. Super slow, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. High speed, whoa. Okay. As you see, you can grab up all the hats, the different items, the outfits. You can change colors on your character. Uh, yep, yeah. and that's pretty much it. There's other obby ends, and they'll have different stuff to do with the end. Test them out, try them out, see what you like. All right, so let me show you one more thing you're going to want to do, which is actually two more. So we're going to want to go to, leave it on models, clear this, and type Skybox. S-K-Y-B-O-X. And you're going to want to choose one of these that you want the background for your game to look like. I recommend something scenic or nice looking. Let's do that one right there. See, just the basic sky. You don't like that? Hit back, go back, look at it again. Wait, did it add that one now? All right, so we're hitting back again. And let's drag. There, you don't want to let me drag it. There we go. Into lighting. No? Okay. What's that? Thing that I wanted. <laughs> it just wants to add that sky. Ah, we got Shrek. We better go back on that one. See, there's. <laughs> there we go. See, so it shows different stuff. There's a space one. Um. Mountains, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> All right. Let's choose something. There we go. Some clouds, even at the level of your skybox. Okay. All right. And so the last thing, you're going to want to close this guy here. You're going to want to go down to audio, and you're going to want to choose music. And you're going to get some full songs here, and you're going to want to listen to them and see how they sound. So we're going to click insert. Now see, I dropped it right there. Let's actually take this guy down and let's put it in sound service. Now we want to go down here. We want to make sure it is on looped and play. All right, and if you choose later that you want to lower the volume or raise the volume, that would be this right here. One is full volume, 0.5 is half volume, zero is completely off. Now let's go back over here, hit play. There you go, and now you have music in your audio. Not bad. All right, hit stop. Okay, so I walked you through all the basics, how to add a block in, make sure that collision's on, how to color items, how to load items out of the toolbox, um, pretty much how to move items around, up, down, left, right, add more in, how to add a hobby end, how to do a skybox, and how to add music. If you want to learn how to add a main menu, you know, like start and credits, options, uh, check out my videos, like and subscribe. I put one out the other day, and I'll... Keep putting videos out almost every day. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.